Imagine you are the boss of an organisation, a local politician, or the Prime Minister of your country. You want to make good decisions, right? To come to a good decision, it's important to know what the preferences of your people are. Obtaining people's input is possible through surveys, focus groups, or town hall meetings. However, such methods often provide only limited information or they are time consuming. Scientists have now developed a new advanced method to investigate the preferences of larger groups of people. This method is called participatory value evaluation, in short, PVE. Basically, it works like this. Participants take a seat in the decision maker's chair, virtually. Being in this virtual environment, they experience a policy dilemma of a decision maker. They see the policy question with several policy options. Also, they see the impacts of each option. Just as in reality, these options face a constraint. With this information, they are asked to give their advice to the decision maker. To give an example, the Dutch government had to decide whether the corona measures should be relaxed, and if so, which measures should be pursued over others. In the PVE, Dutch citizens were presented with a number of policy options. They were also able to see the effect of each policy option, like the number of new infections, mental stress, or the loss of income. The constraint was that the pressure on the healthcare system could not increase by more than 50%. In less than a week, 30,000 citizens eagerly advised their government on what it should do. PVE reaches a large and diverse group of citizens because its entry barriers are low. Participants generally take about 25 minutes to submit their advice when and wherever they want. And PVE has more benefits. PVE increases public understanding of policy choices and it allows people to express a nuanced opinion. Moreover, it provides detailed quantitative insights into people's preferences for policy options. The Corona experiment delivered up to 150,000 written arguments, which can be analysed using algorithms to obtain detailed insights into the motivations and worries of citizens. Do you want to learn more about PVE? Check out tudelft.nl slash PVE.